There's been mud on my soul. There's been anger inside me. There's still unforgiven deeds. But now it's time to free. I've been trapped inside so long. Don't remember how to live. How much of life has passed me by as I slept inside my dreams. Oh yes, sip the waters too. Let them wash all over you. Silence and stillness. Attachment is noise of gain and loss. Love sets them free to grow. Attachment binds them. Wants to control. Love promotes courage and sacrifice. Attachment breeds fear and hatred. Love helps us to be objective. Attachment clouds our judgment. Love is desireless. Attachment is craving. Love accepts what is loved as it is. Attachment doesn't accept. Wants to improve. Love encourages peace. Attachment breeds conflict and fear. Love is cooperation. Attachment is exploitation. Love brings together in oneness. Attachment divides in otherness. Love is giving. Attachment is taking, taking. But in this world, attachment is often spoken of as if it is love. But they are very different. One is earth, another is sky. One binds, another frees you. One is body consciousness and wise. Another is soul consciousness, and it is vicelessness. One keeps you grounded on earth. Another takes you to the higher realms of consciousness. They jokingly say that attachment is not when the two persons are chatting with each other all the time. Attachment is not when the two persons are missing each other too much. Attachment is not when the two persons can't stay away from each other. Attachment is not when you are sharing everything with each other. So what is attachment? They say that you realize the importance of attachment only when you re- you receive a mail from HR department saying increment in salary, but you find the find file missing. The attachment file is missing. That time you realize the importance of attachments. How can world function without attachment? Many people ask that question. Is it possible? But then, probably they have not tasted the nectar of love. Baba says the last paper would be Nashto Moha. Destruction of attachment. Smriti Swarup. Where you become the embodiment of spirituality, awareness, remembrance. Why somebody gets attached to somebody? 
It's not just persons, it's also things, objects, money or abstract things such as even place or abstract things such as name, fame, food, weather, so many things. The list is endless. Probably there is some emptiness within. Attachment is an attempt or a futile attempt to fill that emptiness. A gets attached to B. Why? The vessel is empty or half filled. And there is an assumption that it might get filled by inputs from someone. On the surface, that someone appears to be full. Full in something which we don't have. Because previous experiences with other people, this is C. So A's experience with C concludes that a particular thing is missing in C. After long experience, A realizes that the C is deficient in particular thing. And at that very moment, B enters. And suddenly A finds that that missing thing in C is present in the B. An instant attachment develops because A has already been harassed by C and there is all, already a hurt and suddenly B enters and B has got that thing. For example, humility. It was absolutely absent. So this relationship of A and C has met with failure. Though A has tried everything, but the arrogance of C is too much. And at the same time, B enters, who feels who is the embodiment of obedience and humility. So an instant attachment develops. And also instant detachment for C. But after a few years, after knowing C, you understand that C is also lacking in some other new thing. B, 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 sorry. So this B guy is lacking in something. This humility was there, but then there is no discipline here which was already present in C, but now the C is gone. So now the entry of D, who is full of discipline, and also not just discipline, there is humility as well. So D is a combination of C and B. So an instant attachment, a tremendous attachment develops here now. Because what was lacking in all previous is present in this D. But D is not interested in A. What to do? <laughs> C was instantly interested, so a bond developed. B was also interested. But D who is having everything. So now A is trying to run after D. Trying to convince D how great I am. So that you should know me. And this is how the affair goes on, the unending affairs. One of the greatest poets, Lord Byron, used to fall in love with so many, <laughs> every now and then. Though he is one of the greatest poets, Lord Byron, John Keats and Percivisi Shelley. The romantic trio of 17th century, they ruled the entire Europe or the world with their Exquisite poetries. He got married to someone and they were climbing down the stairs of the church. Lord Byron and his bride. He had fallen in love with her. They enter the car, but at the same time he sees some other girl. He has lost interest in her now. Now he has fallen in love with her. The human mind is in search. That search shows the internal thrust, the hunger, the hunger for something higher, for the divine union. But it ends in physical union, leading to further frustrations or transient joy, physical pleasure, sense gratification, which creates restlessness. When people call carry dead bodies, funeral, 
they keep on changing shoulders. They first hold it on this side. After some time when it starts paining, they take it on this side, then this side, then this side. The similar man, manner. Man's mind is fluctuating, like pendulum. It goes here, it goes there, it is never stable. It has a tendency to get attached to things, to objects, to places, to persons. And when you get attached to B, A is attached to B, B becomes the center of everything. All the virtues, all the good qualities, everything you find in B. Rest, the whole world appears worthless, useless. Whatever good you can think of, you find in B. And if B is a Brahmin soul, he f finds B as the ocean of him, all the virtues. In spite of, instead, in spite of doing all the critical analysis, A cannot see a single defect in B. B is perfect in Gyan, in Yoga, in Dharna, in Seva, in behavior, in everything. Hmm? She is, he or she is just like the father. And how can I let go of such an important soul? So an instant attachment develops. An attachment is slavery. Yesterday, smoothly we were hearing, somebody has done such a beautiful depiction of yesterday's Murli. Baba said, his love is palna. His love is sustenance. So rather than seeking love from one father, you start seeking love from A, B, C, Tom, Dick and Harry. Baba said, copy Brahma, follow Brahma. He kept himself away from all the attachments, though there was love for all. But he was absolutely detached. So that's a sadhana. Love itself is a sadhana. Love is a sadhana to get rid of attachments. Where in the world people equate love with attachment. So how to do this? Nashto Moha, that's the last paper, the ultimate paper. First of all, accept that you are attached. The first step is acceptance. People deny, they say that we have none but Baba with us. None but one. Baba said, celebrate ceremony and today is that day. He said, no, yes, from tomorrow you should have ceremony. Kal se means today. Sabha sanskar samapti, the ending of the destruction of the previous nature. To change nature is a very difficult thing, extremely difficult. It needs a great introspection, a deep churning or silence, then only somebody's nature can change. Otherwise, you have seen your friends, your people around 20 years, you meet somebody, but the nature is same. What was 20 years back? The same ingredients, the same money-mindedness, the same desire for publicity, the same attachment to small things. So it's a tough job. Baba said you have to begin today, but he said, no, yesterday, Kalse, you begin this and you should have firm resolution, karna hi hai, did sankar, just as Father Brahma had the courage and he did it and nobody was along with him. It was a solo journey of Brahma to achieve perfection. So the first thing is accept that the attachment is there. The second thing is know the wastefulness of that attachment. You cannot get rid of anything unless until you understand it is purely waste. It is waste. What I am achieving, what that person is achieving. It's in fact not good for both of us. It's pure waste, sheer waste. The third thing is, what are the damages caused by this attachment? And what are the damages? Concentration gets lost. Because instead of concentrating on father, on Baba, on Murli, on other things or higher goals of life, your thoughts are revolving around that person. That what that person must be doing now. There are people who come for Baba Milan and Baba is in front and they will have chit-chat with their friends and their near and dear ones. 
and they will keep a living commentary live commentary to that person now baba has come now baba is speaking now this is happening in madhuban see i am at shantistham see 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 shantistham you can see shantistham oh just wait 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 see this is dr sachin there just he is there see see now he is gone now this another person is there i am showing you everything live transmission and that person is busy in some other work some meeting some job he has no business with all this and you feel that you are giving him the live telecast this is no love of baba this is just your pure attachment to the dangers of attachments it destroys concentration your energy the fourth planning the fourth is practical plan if you feel you are attached to somebody and that attachment is coming in your way to god what you should do some plan plan of no 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 communication zero communication the best way is to sit together and to decide for zero communication one month two month three months zero contact zero communication zero digital use zero talk no sharing messages chats gifts things objects photographs we are at nakki lake see see we just met dadis see our photo what he will do so no planning of no fifth the next to get rid of attachment develop new attachments like develop new attachment to gyan develop turn that attachment towards god the attachment which is flowing towards person turn it towards god do you feel that intense restlessness to talk with god do you feel the same intensity with which you remember that person is the same intensity is there with you to remember baba people say how to remember baba how to remember god the only answer is increase the intensity of love when you love him intensely passionately automatically the journey of remembrance become easy otherwise you keep on ask, asking how to do yoga how to sit in meditation how to remember baba only questions and questions and questions and nothing else remembrance is not the purusharth is not the effort it is the result of love of divine so love realize how is love is the highest the greatest the purest the sublimest the supreme so redirect next get busy in gya gyds gyan yog dharana seva look at this person so much effort has been put in different color paints different uh, colors have been used somebody has tried to summarize yesterday's murli so when you remain busy in such creative work where is the time to keep on contacting with and chit chatting with your friends and your people with whom you are attached this needs a great effort to summarize something almost everything and the lesser you know the biggest poetries are those which are in two lines three lines smaller the matter the powerful it is it is not that somebody is giving writing too much percivis Sh- shelly was there and when he was a student he was asked in the school write a poetry on jesus christ coming and there was wine being served and the wine became was less exhausted and the people came and what jesus christ did he went he took the wine and he did a miracle the first miracle by jesus christ he converted water into wine and then everyone was happy so they were given a poem they were told write something on this story so percivis shelly wrote the master look at the water and she blushed the master looked at the water and she blushed she means water means it got converted into wine so that's the power of poetry so get busy in gyan yog dharana seva then where is the time on last one convert this physical love or this emotional love into ruhani spiritual love if you are attached a is attached to b remain attached 
बट स्टार्ट शेयरिंग ज्ञान स्टार्ट शेयरिंग नॉलेज लेट दिस अटैचमेंट टर्न इन टू स्पिरिचुअल अटैचमेंट लेट दिस लव बिकम स्पिरिचुअल लव ऑटोमेटिकली योर स्पिरिचुअल डिटैचमेंट विल डेवलप एंड यू डू दिस बिकॉज वेन यू आर यू आर टॉकिंग यू आर डिस्कसिंग नॉलेज एंड नॉलेज इज सच अ पावरफुल टूल दैट वेन यू डिस्कस नॉलेज विथ पर्सन यू कैनॉट रिमेन अटैच विथ हिम इट इज सच अ ट्रिक मदर इज सो मच अटैच टू हर चाइल्ड शी कॉन्ट वेर हैव यू रीच्ड द चाइल्ड इज गोइंग टू सम प्लेस हैव यू बोर्डेड द ट्रेन हाउ इज इट विच इज द बुगी हु इज अराउंड यू योर लगेज इज ओके this is so much anxiety mother is filled with but the mother is discussing started discussing your gyan with she has become nashtomo you have sat in the train no? so what is the problem you will automatically reach which station you are what station do you have water do you have this that food is there or not should i call somebody to give you something 100 questions you have sat you will reach finish so gyan itself is so powerful that the moment you start discussing gyan with somebody it is impossible that you remain attached to that person so nashto mo and when you develop this stage of nashto mo automatically smriti swarup will come would be the result because all the attachments are broken automatically you are linked with the one with that satyam with that shivam and the result would be beauty sundaram ओम शांति